Hey everybody, Jeffrey Beamer here with your Pro Trader Tip of the Day. I'm the Senior Investment Strategist over at EWOTrader.com and I've been trading for a long time and I want to cover what to do with an option trade during the life of the trade. Okay, I think that's an important management kind of decision that everybody has their own different style, their own different way of trading. And I'll show you a little bit of mine today in this video. So we're looking at trade ID 1231. Uh, this is on Home Depot, and this came out in our Delta Neutral Income Strategy. You know, we're trading a lot around earnings, and we look for stocks that do one of two things. We look for stocks that consolidate through earnings, and we look for stocks that are going to break out through earnings. So this particular trade deals with stocks that we believe we're going to trade in a consolidated manner and not really move through earnings. So let's take a look at the trade when it came out. All right, this came out on August 8th, and I sent out this alert to our subscribers with all the good content. And what we were looking at here is Home Depot um, beginning to consolidate in a range or in a channel through the earnings. Now, if you look at the stock price back here, you'll see it gaps around and it moves around. But one thing you'll notice in this particular trade are these light blue lines up above price and down below price. Those happen to be the break-evens in my trade. And you'll notice that uh, the stock price in this particular case has stayed within those ranges for the, since April, okay? So for the past four months or so, all right, the stock has traded within a range and we have priced this move not only with the historical stock price in mind, but what's expected through earnings. Okay, so this trade went out and this is done at a credit. It's essential, essentially to set up an iron condor. You're selling a call spread and you're buying a put spread, all right, or selling a put spread, excuse me. So selling both spreads, selling a call spread, selling a put spread uh, to open. We took in $1.36 a credit. All right. Okay, this that's $136. And so now we essentially wait through earnings. And so earnings came out a couple of days later and we sent out this alert. Now, one thing I want to want to uh, want you to pay attention to here is this column right in the uh, towards the right here that's colored in orange. And that is days to expiration. And that is three days to expiration. OK, now, normally with an iron condor, if it's working out for you, you want to uh, you can uh, consider leaving it to expire worthless. All legs will expire worthless and you get to keep the entire credit that you received. That is the goal. But there's this thing about time and price. And so you'll see, we went through earnings. Home Depot moved, guess what? 16 basis points for right, the day. 16 basis points um, during right after the earnings announcement. It, it moved a little bit more, but by the time my alert went out, to our subscribers about exiting the trade, the stock had moved 16 basis points. But what happened here is we had the implied volatility crash, okay? And then we got a big boost in the credit, meaning we took in $1.36 and we experienced a $1.33 of profit. Now, the question is, and here's the lesson for today, is when you manage these trades and you see that you've got a majority of your reward or your potential reward. So my max reward here was $136 and right, I'm already at 133. Why on earth would I wait three more days to collect $3? There's really no need for it. So this is called taking off, you know, taking your profits when they're delivered to you. And in this case, we were able to take all right, Almost 98% of the maximum reward available in the trade off three days before expiration. So that's one way to manage your option trade. We had a target that was earnings. We managed it through the event. We check our, uh, we check our P&L. We had a profit. The profit equaled a majority of our potential reward. So we went ahead and exited the position, sent out the alert, and our subscribers generated a nice reward of $133 per spread that they did on this particular trade. So that's your pro trader tip of the day. Everyone have a great trading week and I'll come to you again next week. Take care.